Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigvaldo Green here and welcome to Injustice Mobile News. For those of you who are new to the series, this is where we talk about the chests that are in the store, the offers in the special offers uh, place, the challenges and the arena season and we basically talk about what's worth your money, your gems and your time. And at the end of the video there will also be a chest opening so if you came here just for that uh, feel free to skip uh, towards the end of the video, I think it will be the last two minutes. But yeah, with all that being said, uh, if you're not subscribed yet, maybe consider subscribing. It only takes one click and you can always change your mind. The huge percentage of you are not subscribed and I will really appreciate to have you here. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. We're going to start it off with the Arena Season character. And this Arena Season character will be Nightmare Batman. And Nightmare Batman, let's take a look at his abilities first of all. So, first ability, does not do anything. Second, does not do anything. Third does not do anything special, so abilities are all bland. But where the, bare, the bones of this character are, are in the passive. The passive is going to grant you a chance to reflect 100% of the incoming uh, basic attack uh, damage back to the attacker. And reflect means that you are going to take zero damage from that and you are going to reflect the damage back to the opponent. So that's going to be pretty damn good. And the 3 seconds advantage means that at the start of the fight, the first opponent that will enter the fight will be stunned for that amount of seconds. Uh, and uh, this is going to be a pretty damn good passive for Arena and CA. And Nightmare Batman, when you take a look at him, is not going to be a good character for Raids and Soul Raids. Actually, you will never see him in Raids and Soul Raids, but on the other hand, he's going to be a great character for Arena in Champions Arena. And he's one of the hardest, uh, the harder arenas, and for good reason. So make sure you farm for Nightmare Batman. In terms of gem refreshing, I wouldn't really go out of my way to gem refresh for him because while he's good, he's not a mandatory character, but yeah, definitely try hard for this one. Now let's move on to the challenges. When it comes to the challenges, right now we got two challenges up. First up, the Multiverse vs Challenge. In this one you can get uh, any of the Multiverse characters uh, shards. It's not going to be a huge amount of shards, but they will add up. And more importantly, you are going to be able to get from here uh, gears for uh, Multiverse The Flash. And gears for Multiverse The Flash are going to be nowhere to be found except for here and from Ray Drops. And that's where I got most of my gears for my Multiverse The Flash, so you should definitely farm this as much as possible. Right now I only have one League of Arc character, that being less of a Joker, and even so I always farm the first difficulty of this challenge, because it does indeed drop gears and the shards that it drops do add up indeed. And the other challenge will be for uh, Hellboy, uh, over here. Hellboy is going to be a pretty damn good character, because first of all taking a look at his abilities, first one is bland, second one is bland, but the third one will have an armor piercing. This uh, armor piercing ability will be decent in Arena and Champions Arena, but I have not seen uh, him used as an amazing damage dealer. But where this character really shines is in the passive, because the passive uh, box full of the evil is going to grant uh, him uh, immunity to that damage. This man does not receive damage from that damage. And furthermore, he is going to heal by a percentage of the dot damage he would receive. So when someone hits him with that damage, it's not going to deal damage, it's going to heal instead. And he's going to receive some uh, damage and defense against Arcane opponents. This is a little bit of a situational one, but good to have in those specific situations. So overall this character will be a good character and a great tank when it comes to uh, building a budget tank for phase 3 and other fights in uh, raids uh, and soul raids, uh, actually in soul raids that have uh, hazard dot damage effects. So definitely farm for him as much as you are able to. We we'll don't really go out of my way to gem refresh this one, but definitely do your uh, fair share of fights. So this was for the challenges, now let's get into the store, shall we? Okay, so I did talk about the sale yesterday, now I'm going to go over all the chests that are on sale very briefly and also add a little bit of feedback that I received from you guys and that I received from your openings. So first of all, Classic Hero is going to be a pretty dang good chest because uh, a lot of people got legendaries from this one, a lot of people got Arkham Knight Batman from this one because it has a pretty low legendary chance but at the same time it's pretty damn cheap, so you might as well get this. Uh, the Arkham Knight uh, legendary chest is going to be crap because it provides shards for Arkham Knight Batman like you could actually buy a ton of those and you'll eventually be guaranteed to get Arkham Knight Batman but at the end of the day it will be a huge gem expenditure to guarantee yourself unlocking him. So this is definitely not a viable option, only if you are missing a few shards from unlocking him or a few shards for promoting him but don't think you'll unlock him from there because you do not. 
Nemesis Trio is a terrible chest, first of all only 33% discount chance, no chance for a legendary and all the 3 characters that have increased chances over here are going to be either bad characters or characters that can get from other places. Uh, and they are going to be the bottom 3 half of the uh, Batman Ninja roster, so definitely don't go for this one. And next up will be the Just League team chest. I've seen a lot of people getting cyborgs from this, have seen a lot of people getting Just League Superman from this, so it's definitely a good chest, very good on sale, wouldn't recommend it on full price, but on sale you might as well grab it. So the question is between the Just League chest and the, the uh, Classic Heroes chest. If you're a new player, I recommend Classic Heroes chest, if not, I recommend Just League chest. Brainiac Legendary chest, don't touch this. Don't touch this. It's going to be a crap chest with crap uh, shard chances and you'll farm Brainiac by yourself with the Batman Jet team eventually. And you're in no rush to get him anyway. Next up, Hellboy Premium chest. Like this is one of the better premium chests, but do yourself a favor and buy uh, the classic heroes because it's going to be far better value for now than the premium chests. Now getting into the special offers. Uh, I wouldn't get the Mythic Wonder Woman bundle because uh, she comes with the gears from the achievement so you get no value from getting her gears from this one and she's not the best character in the game, she's decent but definitely not the best character. When it comes to hero bundles I recommend people get uh, stuff that's harder to get and harder to equip like Heartbreak Harley Quinn or Entangling Poison Ivy, Mythic Wonder Woman is definitely not going to be worth it. Same with Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, like 100 bucks for a legendary it's up to you how you judge that price. But if you're going to go out of your way to pay 100 bucks for a legendary character, do yourself a favor and get Black Manta or Arkham Knight Batman or Just League Superman or Batman Jaguar Lagrot. No Harley. Harley is bad. Harley is definitely not worth your money. Next up, classic Batman gears don't need them there in the arena store and Suicide Squad Harley Quinn gear pack. I guess you could buy one for 10 bucks if you're missing the gears for her. Don't know, Apocalypse Defender is going to be a pretty decent choice. And uh, we got uh, Secrets of the Lanterns and it's going to be Hellboy. Uh, still wouldn't go for it, like uh, a very good Secrets of the Lanterns as an example is the Silver Bench one. This one is not so amazing. So yeah, with all that being said, let's get into the opening. So this opening was submitted by Just Evil. Links to his channel will be in the description and in the pinned comment, go check him out. And getting into the video, it's going to start by opening some Classic Heroes one, once. Would have gone for 10 at once, but uh, it's up to you how you open them. Uh, Silver Robin, bad. That, that's a bad one indeed. Let's go, next one. Another Silver, god damn. Next one. Gold, nice. Let's see, what, what is it? Oh, Classic Superman, nice, nice. You didn't even have him, you unlock Classic Superman. Nice, good, good one, good one, that's worth your gems. Please don't open this one. Good. Don't open, okay, okay, this, this is a good one. Let's see what you get from here. Okay. Mm. Not amazing, you'll get the shards for him from the raid drops. Uh, Dude, you are guaranteed to get gold hero shards from here, so it's going to be gold nevertheless. This is a bad one, like 20 shards for her is definitely not worth your gems. This is a bad one. Yeah, you're guaranteed to get gold shards. That's why you get, keep getting gold from there. I uh, wouldn't really say lucky because he's not a great Just League character, but he's not the worst. I, actually, he is the worst, but he, it's, it's okay to have him, I guess. Oh my god, this is a good one. This is a good one, you unlocked yourself just like Cyborg. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's an amazing pull from there. And the last one. Not bad. Like, how many was it? 40 shards for Entangling Poison Ivy. Yeah, not, not the worst thing in the world to get, definitely. So yeah, this was it for this video. Thank you again for watching. Check out Just Evil in the description in the pinned comment. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Dislike it if you dislike it. And I'll see you in the next one.